Hey guys, and welcome to Horizon Decades 50s. Now this is one of those events that really, you know, when I look at it and look at the details and everything, it really wants, uh, makes me, you know, want to get a high-powered rifle and shoot at the dev team. Um, because they're idiots. I mean, it's oh, it's going to be D500, so it's going to be slower than riding a bicycle. On top of that, you 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 have absolutely no PI numbers to tune with, so there's no uh, you know uh, rally tires, and rally suspension, whatever. No, 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 no. And then on top of that, you have three events, where the first one is cross-country, the next is road racing, and the last one is rallying, or dirt racing. Now, you cannot set a car up for all three things at the same time. It's not possible. You can sort of set it up, uh, kind of-ish, but it's never going to be good. And indeed... I don't think this is either. I haven't tested it, to be honest. So this should be interesting. And if you look at the price list, I mean, you get a full 50,000 for this. 50. I mean, that's that's almost as much as 60,000. And y you can buy lots and some stuff for 60,000. So you can almost buy some stuff, which is great. I guess these are this list is just retarded that was some of the cars you can use so let's see how bad I do Here comes the summer. oh Price shut the fuck up why didn't they needed. leave her, her out why is she part of the default package go away we don't like you shush Oof. <laughs> so yeah we this is gonna be annoying. Oh yeah, and on top of this, uh, the AI is of course extremely fast, extremely grippy, and pretty much anything you're not um, on cross-country circuits. These are my settings. I'm gonna leave traction control, stability control on. Because this is going to be slidey slidey all over the place. Uh, and then with the V8 uh, power plant, oh yeah, it's going to be slidey slidey all over the place. Oh. Well, I have some grip, kind of. But it's, it really is a matter of, this car is way too fast for its own good, actually. Um, but at the same time uh, that I have to be able to do this, I also will have to be able to do road racing and dirt racing and God knows what else. And like I said, it's impossible. Uh, but I have done my best. I'm just not going to stop at all. It's like riding on ice. Uh, I've done my best in the allotted, what, let's call it five minutes. And, well, <sighs> it's working. And I'm actually kind of mad at my guy. I have a guy who, uh, I have a deal with him, um, he sends me the races for the next four weeks every time we get an update, and I haven't heard from him, I think he's dead, or something, um, and on, on the normal update days, I get, uh, a list of all four weeks, and I get that, 
well, Monday night, my time. Uh, sort of the same time as the, uh, they have that live mixer, whatever. Look at us, we're epic. Now please, kiss our ass while we are on live webcam thing. Um, and sometimes it's Tuesday morning, my time. And, well, that gives me two and a half days to make blueprints on the tracks of every event and find a couple of cars and tune them and tweak them and, you know, and these things take time, a lot of time. And uh, sometimes it's like 10 minutes and the car is just perfect. And sometimes it's two days and I'm sitting here banging my head against the wall uh, because I can't get the car to do what I want. And I'm just trying to put it into perspective that, well, like I said, I spent maybe 10 minutes on this and it's not perfect, far from it. And I would love to have made, made it perfect, but then you, would, you guys would be getting the videos Tuesday next week or something. Um, and that, would be, that wouldn't be fair to you. So, you're gonna have to settle. And it is a bit slidey, but it's oversteer. So it's very much controllable. Of course, the AI doesn't do oversteer, apparently, or understeer. They just, you know, glue them to the tarmac and push them off, pretty much. Tiny Porsche, go away. She told you, go away. It's really insane how bad stock tires are in this game. It never ceases to amaze me. Anyway, uh, it certainly got the speed. Just remember to brake early. So you don't have to do any sudden 90 degree turns at 250 kilometers an hour because that's going to end poorly. But it is manageable, I think. Not all, all bad. Not all good, but it's not all bad. I mean, for the most part, we're staying on the road. Ah, uh, I said for the most part, shut up. Nobody asked you. Wise ass. <sighs> but I'm sure this is thrilling to watch. Excitement. Oh, oh, that body roll, that's just not good. And it's kind of necessary for the off-road part. Uh -huh. And that's the real problem. I mean, the, uh, the things are the good in off-road. Uh, when you do a road race in the car, it'll show those things to you. And suddenly they are bad things. For the most part, anyway. I mean, in off-road racing, you want soft suspension, you want body roll. Well, not too much, but some, uh, way more than you want in road racing. In road racing, you want a stiffer suspension, you want a 
corner, uh, the cards to be level when you do corners uh, to get the optimal uh, grip out of your tires. Uh, and this is not doing that, but never mind, it worked. And should you have any problems with this event, just yeah, give me a shout and I'll run it with you because it's not that hard, really. Uh, so what was the last one? Oh yeah. Long and twisty rally, because yay. These overpowered rally monsters. It certainly is the right track. Oh wait, no, that no. Oh crap. <sighs> And I'm not going to change any settings because, well, I've got a lot of torque in this car and no grip at all. So getting the tail to slide out a little bit if I want to is no problem. So I'm going to keep the traction control, the stability control on for all three events. Uh, and I advise that you do the same, especially if you're new. Because it can be a bit of a handful sometimes. Maybe I could have put rally tires on this, but then I would have had to make it so heavy and yeah, it would barely be able to move. It would accelerate like the Titanic. Probably sink just as fast. Wow, nice try. No grip. It's kind of funny because it's like the game says, Oh, he's at a corner, he's gonna break. Let's remove any form of grip. And as you can see, the AI is not exactly... Uh, very good at this to be honest. What the hell are they? Oh damn. They're pretty far behind. Turn for fuck's sake. Now if you have any trouble getting the ass to kick out, just give it a bit of handbrake and then accelerate. And it'll come around. I, I, dare I say it, I, I think they actually nerfed the, nerfed 
the AI. Or it could also be because I normally, uh, I'm used to riding against unbeatable. And then when I do highly skilled, it suddenly, well, yay, 50,000, woo, and 25, oh my god, it's, seven. oh, that's 90,000, that's like almost 100, whoa, with 14, oh, that's over 100,000, what the hell am I going to use all that money for? I'm, I, if I live to be 45, I, I mean, I'm never going to be able to spend it all. Uh, wait, what? Never mind. Uh, so, I was using the 1955 Chevrolet 150 Utility Sedan. And the tune I was using is called, where is it? There it is, Ryzen 50s. And the share code, and there you go. Remember, if you use one of my tunes, please remember to like it, and the same goes for the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!